India's story today is, in my perception, a positive growth story. Uh, I'm, as an Indian, I feel proud that India is one of the world's leading, not only world's leading economies, but it is the world's largest functional democracy. And to me, it is important that uh, as against, well, the, China also is a leading economy, but it is not a democratic economy. It's a command economy. So I feel particularly proud that India is a democratic, uh, democratically leading economy in which every citizen, every Indian citizen has a voice. Every Indian citizen has a view and every Indian citizen has an impact and um, therefore it is very important that um, it is a positive growth story. Politically it is one of the most stable countries and stable economies. We may have coalition politics but um, it is uh, the elected government which is respected by all Indians because it is a working democracy. And um, we, um, today we are um, registering a growth rate of, enviable growth rate of 7.5% of GDP or so. So um, uh, it could have been even better, it could have been in the realm of 11, 12, percent also as it was two years ago. But the global economic turn down has had its impact on Indian economy also because India is now as a part of a global economy. And in that sense, I feel uh, uh, that um, uh, uh, there can be tremendous collaborative and integrated economic uh, activity between the nations of the world, between the developed and underdeveloped, between the semi-developed and uh, nearly developed or <laughs> now it is it's really in today's world which is uh, almost a global village. Uh, all these classifications like developed and underdeveloped are meaningless to my opinion because every economy is in one way or the other linked mm -hmm. and we need to uh, as as global citizens we need to uh, really build on these opportunities that has been offered to us uh, today as for instance between denmark and india also there can be an increased um, uh, economic activity trade activity cultural exchanges, education. Denmark has so many mm, beautiful things uh, to offer, advanced technology to offer. It has um, um, great um, products to offer, Danish products to offer. India has tremendous um, uh, manpower uh, and um, uh, um, uh, skilled um, skills to offer. Uh, India has uh, um, uh, tremendous uh, um, engineering and scientific uh, developments to offer. So the two countries can really um, uh, come closer and um, exchange at various levels. Um, um, economic, cultural, educational, scientific mm -hmm. and um, it would be a win-win situation mm -hmm. from both the sides. So uh, I think it, it has a tremendous scope mm -hmm. for two great uh, economies to work together. Mm -hmm.